back guys today i'm going to be tying up the miss sharon streamer i'm going to start with a size 8 nymph wet hook in the vise and some 210 utc thread in white i'm going to start at the hook eye work my way down snip off the thread and now i'm going to grab a pre-cut piece of 30 pound test monofilament just going to slide this in the hook eye underneath and tie it in where I stopped the thread. It's about the barb of the hook. I'm just going to work my way back up, making sure the monofilament is going straight up, not to the left or the right. All right, I'm going to grab some small mylar tinsel. Snip off a tie-in point. You don't really have to snip off a tie-in point for tinsel this small. It ties in pretty easily, but it's just a habit. <clears throat> so once I get this tinsel on here, I'm going to just take some touching turns down to where I stopped the thread before. Now I'm going to work my way back up, uh, applying a lot of pressure right here. I'm really trying to make sure I bond this material, this monofilament, to the hook. So I've got to apply as much pressure as possible here. Now I'm going to grab some uni floss in red. Any red floss will do. Tie this in at the hook eye. And snip off the extra. All right, bind the floss down. Just going to take some turns. Whoop. Just going to take some turns down to where I stopped before. Once I get down there, I'm going to wrap back up to where I left the thread. And by starting at the head, working my way down and coming back, uh, that's just going to help me fill in any uh, spots I missed on the underbody. Like you can see a little white on your side. So I'm going to cover that up here in a second. Just like this. And tie it off. Snip off the extra floss. And wrap the tinsel forward. All right, now just secure the tinsel. And snip it off. Now throw a finish in there. And the thread kind of slipped off on me there a little but this pattern does call for a black head so that's okay because I'm going to cover it up with black
and that looks pretty good. Tie it off. Now you can snip off the thread, and if you feel like it, you can put some super glue or zap a gap or something in there. UV goo, whatever you want to use. Just so those thread wraps stay in place. And set that aside to dry. Now I'm going to start the front hook. I'm going to grab my white thread and do the same thing. Start the hook eye. Work my way down. Now here's a tip, guys. Why I'm using white thread instead of black. I could just use the black 210 and build up the head in the same color. But because this is a red floss body, uh, once you get this wet, it will be so dark it will almost look black or purple. So if you use a white floss for the underbody, you can... Um, actually see the red a little bit better. Looks like I nicked my thread here. And of course, as always, you can tie them in this way, right side or upside down. Just set it on top. Take some wraps forward. sure that back hook's nice and even and continue binding this to the top. All right, now I'm going to grab some tinsel again. Set this on, silver side down. Line this on. And all the way back up. And once you get to the hook eye, tie in your floss. Make sure you've cut it long enough. I'm going to have to do it all over again. So just take some even touching turns here. And as I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to come back up to cover up any little mistakes you made. Watch the point of the hook. Insecure the floss and snip it off. All right, now I'm going to tie off the white thread. And start my black. Snip off that tag. Now it's time to wrap the tinsel forward. I like to go underneath and towards me. Just try to make these wraps as uniform as possible. Of 
bind down the tinsel. And this is how I'm going to orient the hook here, forward. And then you'll see it's kind of riding at an angle, so you're going to bend that inwards like so. And now it's fairly straight. I might have to do this a few more times before I'm done. So now I'm going to grab my bucktail and start tying that in. It's going to be red, white, orange, black. So I'm going to start with red, and I'm going to use hair from the insides right here. So I'm going to pull out all the <coughs> stray hairs and fuzzies from the bottom and get a small sparse clump that's roughly the same length. Alright, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it on top. I've already got the thread um, where I want it, want it to be all the way at the back. I'm going to take a few loose wraps forward like this. See how I do this? Loose wraps and forward, forward, forward. And I still haven't pulled it tight. So now I'm going to grab my next material here, some white bucktail. I've pulled out most of the short fibers and I'm just going to thin it out a little more. So you can see the thread was already waiting at the back. I'm going to set the white on top. Loose wrap and going forward. I'm just going to pinch it so I can get some more thread here. And take thread back. All right, time for the next uh, color of hair. So I've got some orange bucktail here. I just pulled out a lot of short fibers. All right, so I've got this sparse clump. Looks good. I'm going to set it on top. Loose wraps forward. And the last material is some black bucktail. And I'm going to tie my black in a little shorter than the other three materials. Uh, that's just my personal preference. Uh, if you want to stick with the original. Then tie it the same as the other three colors. So I'm just going to bend this hair up and snip it off. Now I can start building up a neat head, covering up those butt ends of hair, and really binding down the, the hairs here. And of course you have to build up a, enough of a head here so that you can paint your eyes on. So that looks good to me. I'm going to tie it off. Whip finish. And snip it off. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm just going to put a coat of Sally Hansen's on. And this is just going to help even out the grooves in the thread so that I can evenly apply my um, painted eyes. 
Now I'm going to let this dry. All right, I'm back. I've got some acrylic paint here in black and white. I'm just going to grab some white. I'm going to grab my wooden dowel, and I can sharpen both ends. I sharpen one end, this white end, a little bit bigger than this fine black end here. Dip it in the paint. Steady your hand and make an even dot here, right in the center of the head on both sides. Let that dry. Come back with your black. And right in the center, put another dot. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, now I have to let this dry, and I'm going to come back with some Sally Hansen's. I'm going to put two coats of Sally Hansen's on. And that will be the end of the fly. There's the first coat. I'm going to let that dry, and I'll come back off camera and put the final coat on. All right, guys. So that's the finished Miss Sharon. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed my channel, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it's just going to motivate me to make some more videos. Definitely try this fly out, guys. It has a very good reputation here. Catch you next time.